So now we will learn the structure or the flow of blood to the heart. First we must know the heart, the function of the heart. One, the main function of the heart is to pump blood to different parts of the body. Okay, from it pumps blood to the different parts of the body and the size of the heart is as big as your fist, your closed fist. And remember a heart is very muscular. It's one of the strongest muscles in our body. It's very muscular. Now we'll see how the blood, what is a part of the flow of blood through the heart. So from the different parts of the body, here from the different parts of the body, the blood that is oxygen, uh, deoxygenated begins to enter. So from the different parts of the body, deoxygenated blood enters through these two veins, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. It enters into the auricles. From the auricle, then the blood flows into the ventricle. This is the ventricle, so we'll mark it. So after it gets into the ventricle, then through this pulmonary artery, to this pulmonary artery, it then goes to the lungs. So this is the pulmonary artery, it goes to the lungs. And once it reaches the lungs, it gets deoxygen, it gets oxygenated. So here in the lungs now, it is reached here. In the lungs, it would get oxygenated, become rich with oxygen, and then return back to the heart. Here to the heart, now it's back here. Here, it shows here, to the pulmonary vein. And then it gets back into the heart, here to the pulmonary vein here. And from, the from here, it comes into the left atrium from the left atrium it will come to the left ventricle and from the ven left ventricle through the aorta it then goes to the different parts of the body so we'll draw another smaller diagram just a systematic diagram for this okay, so the blood from the different parts of the body from the different parts of the body will first enter into the right here from the two vena covers, the superior and the inferior vena covers. Here, this thing that I'm drawing again here, see? From this so vena covers, I'll indicate it in this figure. See, this is one vena cover and this is the other vena cover. It enters into the right auricle. So here is the right auricle. So here, here is a right auricle and the blood has been brought into the right auricle. From the right auricle it then now flows into the right ventricle. We'll mark it in the figure. So here is the right auricle. From the right auricle now it is flowing into the right ventricle. So we'll mark the right ventricle here. So this is the right ventricle. This is deoxygenated blood. From the right ventricle then it flows through the uh, through the pulmonary artery into the lung. So here it is. We'll mark it here. From the right ventricle, it goes here to the lungs, where it gets oxygenated. So now the blood is oxygenated. This oxygenated blood now enter come returns back to the heart so from the lungs now the blood is oxygenated and it goes back into the heart this artery that brings the blood into the it's a vein that brings the blood to the heart is called the pulmonary vein this was the pulmonary artery here.
then once it comes back into the heart into the left auricle it then travels to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle from the left ventricle through the aorta it then leaves the heart to the different parts of the body so back again here we had stopped at the pulmonary artery carrying it to the lungs so it carried it to the lungs and once it was at the lungs it got oxygenated and then the oxygenated blood was brought back to the heart by the pulmonary vein then it came down here to to the pulmonary to the right ventricle from the auricle to the ventricle and to the aorta it went back to the different parts of the body there are a few points we need to note in the heart number one is let's see the difference between the atriums and the ventricles we'll just color them here are the atriums this is the atrium here this is the one atrium here and the other atrium is here okay and then we have the ventricles here this is one ventricle and this is the other ventricle so very obvious the size the size of the atrium are small and the ventricle are much larger so when it comes to size the atrium are small chambers while the ventricles are larger chambers and you see the atrium they receive blood here this receives blood from this part and uh, the other atrium receives blood from here so they receive blood but have you seen the ventricles the ventricles pump blood out of the heart this this ventricle the right ventricle pumps blood to the pulmonary and the uh, uh, here this ventricle pumps blood to the aorta so we can say this ventricles they pump blood out of the heart Now let's look check on let's check the walls. Have you seen the walls here of the ventricle? This wall is like the thickest I think of the left one. The left has got a very thick wall. The left ventricle see a very thick thickest wall of all. And the right ventricle has got a thick wall but not as thick. Both the ventricles have got thick walls, so we'll know. thick walls and if you look at the atrium they've got very thin walls see this how thin the walls are because they receive blood so here we write they have thin walls so this is the basic difference between an atrium and a ventricle so here are the differences just go over them quickly they are atrium the upper chambers ventricle these are the upper chambers, ventricle are the lower chambers, these atrium small in size, ventricles large in size, larger in size. Atrium has got thinner walls, ventricle have got thick walls because the blood there is under high pressure, much higher than the atrium. The atrium receive blood and these ventricles pump blood. Another few points uh, among the ventricle, where is the wall thickest? The thickest wall, thickest wall is the left ventricle and the reason is because it needs to send blood to all parts of the body so the pressure is very high there another important point we need to note here is about the valves now see when the when the blood when the atrium contracts when these atrium they contract they contract here the blood gets pushed 
into the from the atrium to the ventricles like here it gets pushed here and in this case it gets pushed here now when the ventricles contract there is a possibility that the blood may be pushed backwards now there is a possibility the blood be, may be pushed back into the atrium like this back into the atrium to prevent this you have valves you have two valves one valve is here between this auricle and this ventricle you have these valves like this and here you have another valve between this auricle and this ventricle this valve here so if the blood tries to push back this valves close down they close down so these valves which are between the atrium and the ventricle what do they do they prevent the backward flow of blood backward so here I just put it again the atrium the blood flows from the atrium to the ventricles if the blood tries to flow backwards the valves they stop this they stop the flowing of blood from the ventricles back to the atrium so that is the functions of the valves